Hi guys, uh, welcome to the fire blog. Um, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today I thought I'd go through what is a pretty exhaustive list of what I might take to a tournament. Um, obviously this will depend on a few things, so where the tournament is, what the conditions are like, uh, etc, etc. But um, generally I think in the UK, as most of people will have found out, um, you have to prepare for the very worst. You know, um, Things can change pretty quickly and it's good to over prepare and bring too much um, in my opinion, that rather than uh, being under equipped and then having to go and uh, run around, find a jumper or you know, uh, go and get extra snacks or whatever because the, the store's too far away. So um, I've put together a list uh, and packed my bag um, full of all the things that I would recommend taking um, and having around. I've also um, typed them up and put them underneath the blog so that you've got a reference there. Um, I hope it's helpful. Um, without do, uh, further ado, let's get going. Um, so first of all, the first thing I'd talk about is the bag itself. Um, I've started using these this year. Um, Block, they've provided um, uh, you know, prizes for a lot of the tournaments. Um, and I really like the idea of having a waterproof bag, especially in the UK, because you can just leave it out. You don't have to worry about it. It's going to be fine when you come back. Um, first thing in the bag, water bottle. Uh, very important regardless of the weather uh, and it stops you having to use single-use plastic um, so really important um, second thing um, valuables um, so I'd add to this my wallet um, and my phone and any other electronics I tend to put them or try and put them in a resealable plastic bag uh, it keeps the sand off them keeps them a little bit fresher um, you know and stops them breaking um, uh, my iPad, again, same sort of deal. I've got a pretty indestructible case on it. Uh, I really recommend these if you are going to go to lot and spend lots of time on the beach. They're called survivor cases um, and they're brilliant. Um, next thing, close to my heart, I've always got snacks nearby, if you know me. Um, so the kind of things I take, I take a lot of fruit and nut. Here's a pot of nuts. Um, these are some fruit and nut and other thing bars. Um, some more fruit, um, anything really along those lines. I might take rice cakes, um, I might take uh, cereal bars, those sorts of things that are good for um, you know just topping up between games all the time, being ready, making sure that I've got had enough calories through the day. Um, next thing, towel. Um, you can take a microfiber towel. I personally hate them, but some people like them because they save a bit of space, or just a normal towel. Handy, um, not just for washing off afterwards, but also you might need it if it's a hot day, cleaning your face, wiping a bit of sweat down, um, really useful. Some people take a second smaller one as well um, as a sweat towel, but up to you. Depends how gross you want to be. Um, coffee cup, for me essential, um, and it saves me going and getting another plastic cup or whatever it is. Um, and you know it, it's actually this one's really good um, because it keeps the drink hot for ages so I can take it down you know I can be scoring or whatever or I can get a hot drink before a cold game and then have a hot drink ready straight away for afterwards so I uh, really recommend um, now the next one um, I personally really like things like this um, these are um, under under shorts so uh, they, I find them really comfortable to play in. Um, they keep, um, you know, they, they, they dry quickly um, and they're a lot easier to kind of cool down, warm up, cool down, warm up in. Um, so I'd recommend if you haven't thought about trying them, try and get a pair of undershorts to put under your shorts. Um, for guys, obviously. Um, what else is in here? Um, optional extra, I always take it, something like a notebook, I've got another normal notebook that I take, but a notebook that's um, you know, going to be about, you write down a few notes about how you play, just small little things, uh, maybe if you're scouting, having somewhere where you can physically write down a game plan is really useful. Um, tape, so there's two types of tape in here, I'll find the second type in a minute, um, but some people like tape for uh, fingers. Um, and some people will, will need keynote, uh, 
you know, physio tape for their back or for their shoulder or whatever. So make sure that you're not just relying on the physio. They don't always have it. If you need it, take your own. Don't be skiving off people on the beach. Um, spare top um, for between games or after you finish playing. No one likes the guy that goes for a pizza afterwards in the vest that they've been wearing all day. It's not on. Um, now, hats. Um, here's my nice uh, free ball cap. Thanks, Louis. Um, you know, on a sunny day, this, you can normally strap that onto your bag. Um, most of them will have a strap feature that saves a little bit of space. Um, or maybe a beanie. I have been known to take both to a competition before where I wasn't sure what was going on, uh, going to go on, especially in Melbourne last year um, where weather can change pretty, pretty swiftly. I was making sure I took both. Um, sand socks. Now, this is not just for cold weather, okay? If it's really, really cold, yes, you probably need some wetsuit boots, like see the uh, winter tournament, winter playing, winter training post that I've done. However, in the summer, when it gets really hot, you might need something on your feet. Uh, and these, that's what these sand socks are designed for. They're designed for hot sand. Uh, they're designed for the beaches of California that can get really hot, the beaches of you know, Brazil, and I had to use them in Australia last year as well at times. So um, really useful um, if you know it's gonna be hot, make sure these are in your bag, because you'll regret it when you, you know, you've got blisters on your feet afterwards. Um, now, a couple of things that a lot of people need. Again, it depends on your individual use. So in here, I've got all my bands. I've got like a, a band like this. Um, and then I've got some mini bands in here. So let's see if we can find one. Here's a mini band. So in there, it's sort of currently attached to something else. Um, but those are for activation, warm up, etc. Um, you know, lots of people use them and for a reason. They're good at isolating certain muscles. They're good at getting you going at the start of the day. Again, don't be that guy that's always borrowing off, off other people. If you use them every time, make sure you bring them. Um, little ball. Now, this helped me. So if I've had quite a lot of games in the day or if I've had a long journey the night before, um, often my back um, gets quite tight. So I often take this um, just to release the back a little bit. It might be the day before when I get there. It might be on the day. Whenever I feel I need it, I have a little ball just to allow, like a trigger point release ball. Really helpful. Um, sun cream. Um, again, in really hot places, you might need two types of sun cream. One for the general body and one for your face. Um, but for most of the time, um, I would just be taking the one in the UK. Um, yep. Uh, whistle. Now, again, don't be gross. Don't be gross and use everyone else's whistle. It just ends up with you being ill. Take your own. I've got loads of squeezy ones as well that I take there. Uh, I'm going to use them at my tournaments this year because I just am grossed out by everyone sharing whistles. It's horrible. Um, Their clothes for between games. So tracksuit bottoms, um, a raincoat, um, and also, I forgot to put it in, but a jumper, okay? Um, important that you've got all of those three. The worst thing is trying to warm up for a game when you're already freezing, or when you need a little layer, when you sit down for scoring or whatever and you haven't got one. Um, it's really important that you've taken enough layers to tournaments. I can't. You know, I can't, I can't emphasize that enough, how many times I've been really cold and wished I'd brought an extra layer. If in doubt, bring an extra one, you'll probably need it at some point. Even if it's to give to your number one fan who's freezing on the side watching your game. They'll love it. Um, now, couple of uh, things. Sunglasses, obviously really, really important. Make sure you look after them. So take, even if you're wearing them as you go down to the beach, take the case, take a cleaning cloth, take um, you know, a little soft case for them to go in as well. Um, they cost a lot of money, sunglasses. You might as well look after them. More on that on a future um, post. Um, camera uh, and also tripod, but currently the camera's in the tripod over there. 
Um, I would use this for taping games, obviously an optional, but if you want to, you know, if it's an important game, why not take your camera, learn, watch it afterwards, it's really useful. Um, headphones for when you want to zone out between games. Um, I just take some cheap and cheerful ones. It's just when you're away, people tend not to come up to you so much when you've got headphones on. If you do want a little bit of space, uh, very useful just to get into your own zone. Completely up to you, but you know, um, it's what I tend to do every so often if I need just a little bit of chill time. Um, and finally, um, again, uh, physio tape. And then some people will take, um, will take a phone roller with them. Um, sometimes you get bags with like strap on bits, um, whatever, if you need a phone roller, it's worth taking. There's normally somewhere to roll down there. Again, you know what your self care needs are. If you don't, then read Lee's blog, um, uh, because uh, Lee Parnell's guest blog, um, because he's really useful on talking you through, you know, what exactly you should be doing to care for your body, giving some top tips on staying healthy. Rolling is important, make sure you're doing it. Thanks guys, um, stay tuned. Thanks for all of your attention over the last uh, week. It's been great to see the blog getting lots of reads and shares. Um, so keep sharing. If you think I've missed anything, please do, do comment down below. All right, see you later.